friends. Pastor Amy here from Southgate United Methodist Church here on Wednesday, February 10th. And it is cold. It is just cold. Like you walk outside and you can just feel your sinuses freezing up. It is cold. I, I don't like this cold. This is not, this is not okay. But we will survive. I hope. I hope I survive this cold. This is really, really cold. But I mentioned, I don't like this cold. But it's like uh, the, the weather predicting for Sunday is the high. The high is a negative one degree. That's the high for Sunday. Yeah, something to look forward to, hey? But anyway, you know, we try and, and look at the positive. And I have something really positive to share with you today. Um, the preschoolers who are, are down the hall from us are a wonderful Southgate preschool. Uh, these kids just bring so much joy to my day every day. Uh, a group of them came in today and they brought me a valentine. Well, they brought me two valentines. They brought me this lovely artwork here and then also a magnet with on the back. Happy Valentine's Day. And I have a nice magnet board here in my office and I'll be putting those up there. And all throughout this school year, they've been talking about uh, ways that they can fill other people's buckets and a bucket really is just uh, people's ability to receive uh, joy and receive kindness, those kinds of things. And, and so the, the kids have been talking about what they can do to fill up each other's buckets. And they've adopted a few, well, they haven't adopted, but there are a few members of the church that are their buddies and they, they send artwork, they send notes and things like that. And uh, they were so excited to share with me a note that they had received from one of their buddies. And they said that that note had filled their bucket. Uh, and they were really excited uh, to receive that. So um, so I'm curious, you know, I love hearing from you all. Um, how has uh, how has your bucket been filled lately? What is uh, some delightful surprise or act of kindness or or something joyful you've experienced lately? You know, how has your bucket been filled lately? Or what have you done to fill somebody else's bucket? What's something, you know, brag on yourself? You know, what have you done to... Um, bring joy or delight to somebody else lately. Um, you know, on these cold days, it's exactly the kind of thing that, that we need to hear about. So share your stories, uh, comment on underneath this video or, um, you know, put them on the, the Facebook page, share them so that all of us can enjoy them. Uh, we want to hear your stories, how you're filling each other's buckets. Um, this Sunday is Transfiguration Sunday. Um, we talk about Jesus on the mountaintop and going through a strange transformation and um, the disciples struggling to understand what that means. Also this Sunday, it's the day we celebrate our scouting ministry. Uh, scouts have really had to uh, change how they do things to, to be safe in this uh, time of COVID. And um, we're, we're glad to, to have this relationship with our scouts and, and uh, they'll be um, reading scripture and uh, maybe sharing with us a few things about their uh, what they've done uh, even in this time of COVID. So uh, you won't want to miss it. You tune in this Sunday. Um, our local COVID dial uh, continues to trend the right direction. So nice job, everyone. We are in the yellow. Can you believe it? Oh, it's so nice. Um, so a few changes around here. Um, we're expanding the number we're allowing in worship from 20 to 50. Um, we're, it, but that, you know, I know many of you will choose to stay at home, which I totally uh, support and, and what it, you come out if you feel comfortable, if there are many of you waiting for your vaccines, and I totally understand that as well. So um, you uh, proceed as you feel comfortable. But if there are some of you who have been uh, holding back because you don't want to take a spot from somebody else, come on out. Um I, I say don't let anything hold you back except for the weather. Uh, we're not sure how things are going to look this Sunday weather-wise. We will keep you posted. Um, uh, we're just kind of keeping an eye on things, and, and we'll make decisions as we get a little bit closer and have a clearer idea. Um, but we'll try and bring you some form of worship this Sunday. Um, as it stands right now, we'll still, we're, we're still aiming to have two services, 8.30 and 11 o'clock in person, the 8.30 service streaming, and then uh, you can view the recording later. Um, but we'll just kind of keep an eye on things. It's going to be cold, possibly snow. Ugh. 
Um, <laughs> I try not to be so pessimistic. Got to get used to these cold, cold temperatures. All right. Let's see what else. Uh, also, because we're in the yellow, uh, we've moved from the orange to the yellow. Um, small groups can uh, that meet throughout the week here at the church can resume if they feel comfortable doing so. So our, our knitters, our uh, quilters, our book groups. Um, if, if you feel comfortable meeting, so long as you wear masks, you, you keep distance, those kinds of things, um, you can... Uh, resume your meetings. I know that uh, choir groups, the bells and the, and the choirs are going to um, have some short rehearsals coming up here pretty soon, so um, you proceed as you feel comfortable. Uh, but we are expanding some of our operations here, so yay! Let's see. That's all I got here. If you all have any questions about anything regarding what's going on and what's not going on as, as we're as we are ever changing in our COVID procedures, uh, feel free to reach out and, and ask me, um, call the office, email Julie, email me, uh, Rev Amy, R E V A M Y at southgateumc.org. Um, in the meantime, stay warm out there and remember that God loves you. So do I, and I'll see you Sunday.